that's uh, that's not nice. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome back to our Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. I didn't heal up everybody, they're not all down into the yellow just quite yet. So uh, they got some more gas in the tank, and we have Hyper Potions, which I don't really want to waste. Not that it would be a waste on my lovely, lovely Pokemon, but I think they'll be able to take another hit or two before I really need to, uh... Wow, stuttery. <laughs> before I really need to worry about it. So we'll push this onto that, and I think it'll do something. And we need more Repel. Crap! We're not gonna make it through. We're gonna have to battle some wild pokes. Which is fine, because I'll be doing a lot more of that uh, before we go and face the Elite Four. So, there. Unlock something. I don't understand. Oh my. We're facing wild Pokemon anyways. These Pokemon are so buff. Level 48. That's how I know we'll get some good leveling done in here. He goes for the Intimidate. Uh, and that's not nice. And I cannot escape him. Shite. Use acid is far too slow. Can we do it? Let me do it! Fuck! <laughs> and he hazes away his stat changes. That is really trolly. Can we run? Thank you so much. I don't really want to fight an Ekans. I'll fight a Karate Man! <laughs> this here's Victory Road. It's the final test for trainers. And you just stand here to impede people. How kind. <laughs> Black Belt Daisuke sends up Sentret. Oh lord, not a Sentret. It's so terrifying. How about Rock Smash? Does Rock Smash do anything? Oh yeah, it does things. And drops his defense. It's definitely a two-hit KO. Sorry, little Sentret. And he missed his slam. I feel so bad about that. How could you miss slamming a rock on the ground? It's the easiest thing in the world. A child can do it. <laughs> Sentret's, <laughs> Sentret's face. Yes, it's true. Spinda, um, not really scary either. I'll send an Albi. Albi, no! Come save the day! And I do have that, uh, Master Ball Porygon. That'll be so fun. We could swap him onto the team for somebody. Mm. Looking around at my whole team, <laughs> how they're all performing, passing judgment. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to love each Pokemon for blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know. I know, but you got to put in work. To be fair, honestly, I need you to put in work for me. For Big Daddy. Oh, Teeter Dance. That's going to confuse my Dragonite. And he's asleep and all kinds of shit. So uh, I'm just going to switch him out. How's that? How the fuck is that? We'll go back into fuck yeah. I've been showing a lot of love to Sea King. I underestimated as a po him as a Pokemon. I didn't hate him, like Mr. Mime, but I did underestimate him, definitely. So that fucking punch does a shit ton. Dizzy Punch crits me and takes away like half my HP, but uh, we're able to kill it with Horn Attack. Horn Attack! Wonderful. You've done so good, Sea King. We're so proud of you. He's got a Dratini. Um, Albino's asleep. We'll send in the Batman. Batman knows what to do. Every time. He's got a plan. He make it up. All, all by his lonesome. Or something like that. Dratini. Uh, yeah, wing attack. Wing attack is great. Fly does a little more than wing attack. But it is negligible. Um, so I probably won't find myself actually using it in combat that much. But it's definitely a need to have. <laughs> He's the only one who's even capable of using it, so it's it's going to stay in his set, so we can get around easily. The trip from Cinnabar to wherever would have taken that much longer, and uh, nobody liked that. Nobody liked that, boy. Can I play the polka flute and wake him up outside of combat? Is that a thing? Play the polka flute. Yes, I guess it is a thing. Hmm. Imagine it. Good. Poke flute awakened all sleeping Pokemon. How nice. La la la. Running through the caves. Doing some stuff. Oh. Where's the rock for this? 
Oh, the Thunder TM! Yes, that's good. Dragonite like Thunder TM. I know there's a rock I probably have to push over there in order to put down that ridge. That fucking ridge! <laughs> Wild Pokemans! Oh, it's a Machamp! Woo! That is crazy. I hope we can run. Yeah. I don't want to take a fighting move from that thing. Holy shit. That is scary. Got the Dragon Scale. I think you can evolve Seedra with it or something? I don't know if that's in this version. Hmm. There's another thing over there. Gotta get it. I need it! Is Victory Road too tough? Nah. Hmm. Nah. <laughs> I power leveled a little bit. I knew what it was gonna be like, honestly. Level 48 Nidoran male. That's an interesting choice. I'm gonna hit it with a Confuse Ray. Not gonna be able to hit it um, attacking wise, really. I've got Giga Drain, Acid, Acid, and uh, Rock Smash, which will all be resisted by this little guy. So yeah, leave him to smack himself, miss my Mr. Mime for just a second, and then uh, try and figure out who I'm gonna switch into. I guess Khan would do just fine, or Albi. Um, yeah, we'll go for Khan. He's new. He's got to put in his work. Go get him. We brought you to this level. Now you got to prove that it was worth it. Hurts himself. Yes. Good, good move on the Cradley. He gets that little extra damage that actually turns into half that guy's health, and Khan is able to come out with the Ember and sack it. Sack it hard. Sack it hard. Juggler Gregory. J Juggler Gregory. Gregory. Well done. It was, wasn't it? If I do say so myself. Ooh, bulk up TM. Who can learn bulk up? Holy shit. That's pretty tasty. That increases attack and defense of Pokemon, which, uh, needless to say, can be pretty effective, but nobody can learn it. I was hoping maybe Acorn could, um, because he lacks a little in defense. Mm, 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 wild Pokemans. Wild Pokemans everywhere. Oh, it's a Natu. We love you, Natu. Go away. <laughs> Can't escape, of course. But he wants to. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Having mercy on me. Oh lord. This is why we need repels, but we also need to be higher in level apparently, because uh, everything out levels. Wild Pokemon are out leveling us. Holy shit. This is Victory Road. Shit is serious right now. Uh, okay, there are boulders up here. I really want that thing. Whatever that thing is, <laughs> I gotta get it. I heard rumors of a child prodigy. Did you? <laughs> Who was it? Was it me? I'm not a child. Not anymore. Would have been applicable 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 20 years ago. Or 10 years ago. Less applicable 10 years ago, though. <laughs> then you're like a, t a teen. A, a big-ass teenager. Almost a man. And now I'm a man. I still play Pokemon. And you know what? Fucking love it. Fucking love it. Still do all my shit. Still pay my bills. Still love some fucking Pokemon. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Some people will say that, but that's just because they don't have enough going on in their own lives, you see? Rock Smash! Rock Smash! Defense drop. I like this Rock Smash and Acid combo. Oh shit, he's got Ice Beam. Oh, don't kill, don't kill, don't kill. And a crit. Fuck me. We need to get out of there. It's kind of difficult to make the call on what to switch to. Arcanine can resist the Ice Beam, but... Seals a water Pokemon. I'm sure it's got a water move. Um, we've got a big glaring ice weakness, basically. Anything that doesn't resist ice completely is uh, weak to it horribly. So we need to be very, very fucking careful of... Who is it? Lorelei, I guess? Is that ice trainer a thing in this generation? I don't even remember. I'm starting to forget everything. I'm panicking. It's all going south. Ooh, the takedown. Please don't hurt me. That fucking crits, dude. Are you kidding me? 
We're gonna have to drop heals. Just drop a bunch of heals again. My god. I have plenty, but uh, I wasn't planning to use them all quite yet. Really, I just have to end up using him on Fuck Yeah, because he's slow, so he definitely takes a hit every time he's out there. Um, we don't have much Mega Kick to go around, so I'm gonna have to kill this thing with Cut and a Fake Out. And a Fake Out. Everybody like a Fake Out. That shit crit. Crit you hard, brah. And this thing might have Poison Sting or some such, but, uh, oh, Needle Arm. Damn. Okay, that's a grass move. I thought it might be a bug move. That's good. Goes for the hyper potion. Damn it. Why always hyper potions? And I missed my cut. That's wonderful. Just used that last mega kick. That actually hits. That's amazing to me. How does cut miss? I've never seen cut miss in my... In all my pokey days. <laughs> Cacturn plants his roots. That is not going to be great, um, but it's it's going to turn out in my favor, I'm sure of this, because Cut is not going to miss again. Right? Right. <laughs> Cacturn goes down. Acorn. Delicious HP for Acorn. Or XP for Acorn. He's got a Furret. Um, I'll get Albi back in there. It's not too scary of a thing unless it has Belly Drum or some crazy shit like that. But I think Albi should be able to handle it. He can hang, it's only level 42, but they are my level now, which uh, increases the tensity, and I was a little nervous going into this, uh, because I knew that I would try and make Victory Road a, a challenge, but um, yeah, it's turning out to be quite a challenge, indeed. <laughs> you can't have it be a cakewalk, if I leveled to 50 it would be a cakewalk for sure. But, uh, we're about the same level, so if we lose somebody, I'll have to do a little extra leveling. But, uh, I don't plan on losing anybody. As far as I'm concerned, this is my team for the Elite Four. So, he's bringing in a Persian. I'm gonna take out Dragonite because he's looking a little low on HP and send in Use Acid. Use Acid! And he'll get some leftovers recovery from that, which is super sweet! And how about Rock Smash or Giga Drain? Rock Smash or Giga Drain? I'm gonna try Giga Drain because I think Persian's defenses are low enough that I'll get um, profit, HP profit from this. And it seems so. So I'll go ahead and blow another one. Why not? Because Persian's doing like leftovers damage basically. No offense, Persian. I know you're great. Oh, he goes for Feign Attack. It's not resisted, so it should do more. Not a lot more, though. Dang. Use Acid just like the best wall. That's why he's been here for so long. Just like, hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> I finally got the chance to put him on my team, and I am so glad that I did. Ah, cool trainer, George. You were a bastard. Quite a bastard. Let's see what our prize is. HP up. Mumble grumble, rasa rasa. Are we supposed to go up there? I assume so because there's a trainer. Oh, but there's another treat. TM11, sunny day. Okay, so we probably need to push a boulder over this way. That'll be fun, huh? <laughs> yes. Strength me up, Captain. Con. <laughs> That's what he says when when strength happens. Or something like that. Hooray! Repel's effect wore off! Alright, friends, so I think I made it. Victory Road, finally. Had to cut quite a bit out, um, but I did speed through most of it. So it's unusable, all things considered. We are going to fight somebody, probably the first member, um, but I'm gonna have to do some leveling before that. So, uh, we'll take a short break. I'll edit these two episodes together. Indigo Plateau. Yes! And my Pokemon, not too beat up. We did a lot of fleeing. <laughs> so here we go. <sighs> so, friends, I've shaved my head, as is the, uh, practice before every major battle in a young boy's life. To prove that you're a real warrior, uh, also to give your enemies nothing to hold on to. 
Something bad happened while I was training. Uh, fuck yeah is dead. He's dead forever. It's really unfortunate. Um, but yeah, he's he's been replaced by Quackers. I bought a bunch of full restore potions. I was trying to get to level 55, but uh, I think level 52 is going to be able to do it. As long as nobody drops, we should be okay. So I'm going to get uh, all healed up one more time. And let's let's do this first battle. We'll see how it go. Hopefully uh, not too painfully. <laughs> but it, they're randomized, so it should be kind of easy-ish. <laughs> Face the elite foe one by one. If you win, a door opens to the next trainer. Good luck. I'll need more than luck, I think. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they're frozen solid. Haha. <laughs> are you ready? Uh, I was, until you gave me that speech. Now I'm a little nervous. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's nice. You got that skirt. What's going on, girl? You want to go get some lunch after this or what? Oh, and she's got a polyrath. Acorn's probably not the best um, against that because it it is part fighting type. Um, it's a fighting water type, and I'm a dark plant type, but I don't have any plant type moves. So I'm going to get uh, Acorn out of there. I think a fighting type move is coming, so I'm going to switch to the Batman, who can probably sack this thing with the fly. At least uh, that's what I hope. He goes for Mind Reader. Kind of weird. Uh, maybe he has dynamic punch or something like that, but we'll go for fly. Can he hit me? Did he mind read me? Yeah, he can hit me even though I'm flying. Fuck. That's messed up, man. Don't do that shit, man. Alright. Well, he's he's got a beat on me, so hopefully I can just wake up and, um... I don't know if he has to keep using mind reader every time to make the next move hit. I think that's how it works. Perhaps. He just keeps going for it, so eventually I'm gonna wake up, maybe. Hopefully. God damn it, Batman, come on! We need you now more than ever, buddy! He's got a fucking fighting type and you can just do horrible shit to him, but no, he's just he's just napping. He should wake up on the next turn. It'll be the fifth turn, Jesus Christ. Come on, little guy! That's a bad, bad thing. There he goes, up into the sky. And, uh, is the hypnosis coming? No. He uses submission. That's okay. Four times resisted by Batman, so that was a good switch. And, uh, he's gonna use the fly now. Shadoosh! Yes. Kill it. Uh, not quite. That's okay. He did flinch, and, uh, that's because my Batman has the King's Rock. So, that's very, very useful. He's gonna miss his hypnosis because I'm not mind reader, and, uh, should be able to sack that thing. Really quite a threat for the first Pokemon out. That's uh, that's not nice. I don't like that. I don't like it one bit. All right, that's fine. He's got a Mew. Oh my God, it's probably got a Psychic move. Let's go into mm, use Acid. Use Acid has had some of his move set switched up. Uh, he doesn't use Acid anymore. He's gone to rehab and cleaned up, and we're really really proud of him. <laughs> oh man. Uh, but yeah, I think I have something for this. He's got Earthquake Rock Tomb, which is a pretty good combo. Gives some nice coverage. That spark's not gonna do much against Use Acid, luckily. And uh, I don't know what I'm doing out here particularly. <laughs> so I just kind of hit the thing with the Confuse Ray. Um, sort of trying to scout out what it's gonna do. And yeah, Use Acid has the leftovers. So he's gonna recover a little bit of health back. Not quite enough to get to full, but it's close. Uh, so let's try the Rock Tomb now, because that also has an effect that slows the enemy down. And Mew is just gonna keep using Metronome. Defense Curl. Shit. That's bad. I don't like that. Um, damn. I don't really have much that can hit Mew super effective. There is Acorn, but with his uh, Defense Curling, I'm not sure... That acorn's gonna be able to, to one-shot it like I need him to. You know, actually, we will switch. We'll give acorn some love. He's the fucking team OG. He needs to beat the shit out of this legendary Pokemon. Yes! Oh, he snapped out of confusion. Whoops! Please don't use a fire move. Uh-oh. He's using Razor Wind. Luckily, I'll be able to fake him out and hopefully flinch him. Uh, yeah. Because he doesn't have inner focus or anything like that. So the Razor Wind is ineffective. Unfortunately, I use Fake Out again. God damn it, no! He hits me with a Mega Punch. 
gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. I promise. <laughs> so here comes the faint attack. Hopefully it'll do some decent damage. Uh, yeah, that's nice. That's pretty nice. We can get him with one more of those. Here comes the metronome again. And you'll notice that my acorn is moving faster than his Mew because of that rock tomb, so really helpful to just bump the stats around. I did not do that as a child, but my god, is it helpful. So here comes the second faint attack. Boom! Gonna wipe that Mew off the map, I do think. Yes. All right, so we got uh, a couple of her Pokemon down. I think she should have three more, perhaps? And a Ninjask is what's coming out next. That should be relatively easy pickings for use acid uh, with the Rock Tomb. I don't foresee any problems. Yeah, she's got three Pokemon left. It'll be two very, very soon. I don't think she's had one Ice Pokemon. The Poliwrath kind of fits, maybe, on an Ice Team. Not really, but it's the closest thing we got. That ninja has dodged my Rock Tomb. God damn it. But that's okay, because he basically did leftovers damage to me with his attacking moves, so... No problem. Back up to full health. He's starting to Swords Dance. Now we're getting worried. I don't think he can hit me super effective, or even neutral. Hopefully this will take him out, though, because I don't want to see what it can do. Good. Ninjask is nice and frail, so no problem there. Oh, we're doing pretty good. He used Acid. He's a, he's a nice big wall. Oh, he's got a Donphin. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Um, I don't know what to do against it. It's probably gonna have Earthquake, which is gonna hurt basically anything I have. What do you have, Quackers? You got, like, Ice Beam or some shit? Nope, nope. We could do Solar Beam, but, uh, the sun's not up, so it's gonna take two turns. I'll leave you Zacid in. We'll go for the Giga Drain. Hopefully that'll work out okay. Oh, he's a big bastard too, level 54. Jesus Christ. Alright. Well, we'll see what we can do here. I'll, I'll start him out with the Confuse Ray. Oh, God. Oh, same type attack bonus Earthquake. Alright, yeah. I can take one more of those. Um, hopefully I'll be able to Giga Drain him and he will just hit himself in the face and this will be like a relatively easy part of the battle. But my goodness, is that thing scary. We're gonna see much uh, scarier things, I'm sure, later. But for now, this is good. This is good. We can do this. And he hurts himself. Excellent. So hopefully I'll just be able to drink him up. I think that breaks his 30, if that's what he has. Um, so yeah, one shot. Come on, one shot, one shot, one shot. Yeah, critical hit! <laughs> High five, use acid. Oh, you don't have any arms. Fuck! Well, tentacle me, bro. Ah! <laughs> All right, so that that went better than expected. I was really wor really worried about that thing. She has a Murkrow. I will send in Quackers because I know he has Shockwave, which is a move that never misses, and it'll be super effective, and it's gonna be awesome, awesome. And Quackers is also making his debut on the team, which uh, is super special. And I've got Insomnia now, so I can't be put to sleep. Oh, Quackers is the one with Toxic. Good thing I didn't go for it because the Murkrow uses Taunt. And uh, here comes the shockwave. Shadoosh! That's right, sucker. What you gonna do now? Die. Die really hard. Tries to taunt me again. I don't know what you're doing over there, bro. You sure you're like Elite Four? It's like Invasion of the Body Snatchers or some shit over here? You, you suck! You suck! Get out of here, kid! <laughs> Damn. Alright. Nicely done. Things shouldn't be this way. Yeah, but they are. They are. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of Pokemon League power. Well, friends, this has been the uh, first member of the Elite Four, and I hope you enjoy my new haircut. If you do, I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. <sighs> We've got a lot left to go. I'm going to heal up, and uh, I'll see you in the next room. Until then, friends. Bye-bye. One, two, three. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.